Hello everyone, Diogo Tarini here and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today, uh, well first things first, I've changed the audio source, now I have a boom mic instead of my lapel mic. So if you see any change, that is the reason. So today I want to have a quick review of the Zion Crane 3-axis gimbal. This little beast here, clearly having trouble, that's it, gimbal. Great little tool if you have a small camera. This is just uh, something else. Well, this is my first gimbal and because I bought the A6500, I felt that it was good for me to migrate from my old stabilizing system, which is the HD4000 from Glidecam. Great product. However, because I bought the A6500, I felt that I needed something smaller, especially when traveling, because I've been traveling a lot to Asia and all these little things obviously add to your luggage. So. I think the gimbal system is great. I'm still getting used to it. I literally just got a few days ago. It's definitely not as easy as you may think. Oh, I have a gimbal. Now I'm going to get this crazy, amazing, good, great, steady shots. It's not that simple. You have to practice a lot. First things first, you have to have perfectly balanced. That's really important. That's the main thing. And then also you have to practice the way that you walk, the way that you operate. So it all depends on a few different factors. Talking a little bit more about the gimbal. Well, this gimbal specifically holds up to 1.8 kilograms. So if you have a smaller camera, a mirrorless camera and a light lens, in my case, I have the A6500 plus the 10 to 18. It holds pretty well. It's good, just what I needed. It's really, really small and light. So if you're traveling, if you're a vlogger or, or if you do loads of work on the go, this gimbal is really good for that as well. I think it only weights 950 grams, which is less than a kilo plus the 1.8 kilo maximum. We're looking at something roughly three kilos if you go all the way up to the 1.8 kilograms. So still pretty light. I mean, small camera, small gimbal, you sort it. Also it's toolless. You don't need any tools, any specific tools to set it up, which is great. I mean, the fact that you don't have to carry any extra tools regardless if you're traveling or if you're just going around the corner, just it's just less things for you to carry. So it's very good that Zion also thought about this. And last but not least, it's very easy and quick to set up. This is major, especially if you, you know, on the go, sometimes you don't really have much time to balance your gimbal, one of those, you know, row names or even the glide cam as well. This is just really, really easy to set up. And once you do set up, you get used to it. But once you set up, if you have your camera plate underneath, always there, for it, you shouldn't really have to fiddle too much with it. What is in the box? Well, I bought mine from CVP. I'm gonna leave the link below. This great, super hardcore uh, case. That's uh, very, and it's pretty small as well. It's like a small suitcase. It's just really good. I mean, in the box, you have the gimbal itself. You've got the batteries, you have the USB cable, you have the charger, the lens support, if you need a lens support, as well as the screws, the two screws that you have to mount your camera onto the gimbal and also the screw for the lens support, which is very useful if your lens sticks out a little bit. I haven't had the need to use it because my lens is pretty short, but it's also very useful if your lens extends a little bit and you wanna balance. So that's pretty good from them as well. So the Zion Crane offers three different modes. So you basically have the mode that it follows the movement that you're doing so up and down side to side that's one mode the other mode you lock the tilt so it doesn't tilt so and you can just do that nice crane kind of movement which is really great as well and the other one if you are a vlogger you just toggle three times and you can film yourself nice and smooth that's pretty good so we've got three different modes there um, very useful, again, very light, and you can have loads of fun. Whoa. Very useful tool. On the back of the gimbal, that's where all the magic happens. So you have the mode button, where you toggle the three different modes. You have your joystick button that, depending on the mode that you chose, you can tilt and pan, as well as if you hold it down for three seconds, you can leave the gimbal on standby. You have your power button that you can turn the gimbal on and off. And you also have the shifter button, which with the help of a USB cable that you can buy from them, you can zoom in and out. So you basically don't have to touch your camera, your lens. And also you can start and stop your recording. And if I'm not wrong, you can also take pictures. So that means that you don't physically have to touch your camera, therefore not having an unbalanced gimbal again. So if you fiddle with it, so let's say that you have it 
you have your gimbal here and then you're just doing this crazy movements and all that kind of stuff and then you want to stop recording or if you want to take a picture or whatever you want to do or zoom in and out you could do with a joystick here on the back with with your controls here on the back you don't have to just go especially with the a6500 it's pretty annoying as i said in the review that you can check up here the recording button is pretty small so you instead of fiddling with it you just buy that cable connect to the side of your gimbal and you can record smoothly with no problem all. Unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to buy this cable yet, but I will be getting the cable and test. Not so much about the zoom. I don't think I would be using zoom that much unless if I had to have a tighter shot or a wider shot and then I would use, but that doesn't really bother me stopping and then just doing it manually. However, the recording function is very, very useful. So I will try to get this cable as soon as I can to make my life a bit easier. One tip that I have for you guys that I think is quite interesting is adding a base plate. So what I did here, you can add to the bottom of the zone, what you can do, you can add the screw that is provided straight to your camera. However, to make my life a bit easier, what I did, and I think you should buy one, you should do as well, is I've added a Manfrotto base plate. Uh, that makes my life a lot easier, so I don't have to balance all the time. I know exactly where I need to place the camera and I just place the camera there, make sure that is balanced correctly, turn it on and I'm ready to roll. And apart from the base plate, I've also added a camera plate. So if I need to balance, I have my tripod, I need to balance, I just stick this onto my tripod and it does help me to balance my gimbal. So I'll definitely suggest to get one of these as well. I mean, depending on what your system is, mine is mine is all Manfrotto, so I have Manfrotto plates, but I do think that this makes your life a lot easier as well when balancing your gimbal. Oh, and by the way, another way that you can operate your gimbal is upside down. So if you wanna get those really dramatic low shots of your pet maybe, or I don't know, someone walking, you can just operate it like, operate it like this as well. So you basically turn it upside down, just like so, and you can operate your beauty just like that as well. And you can get some really, really good low shots. So that's pretty useful as well. And if you add this plate, I mean, you don't necessarily have to have a big plate like this, but if you do, it also, obviously if it's, make sure that it's secure, you can also rest your fingers a little bit like this as well. So I think it's quite good to have the system set up like this. I mean, what do you think? Hello. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. Turn on those notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.